Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and I'm doing my video for what sold last week Monday through Thursday which will be July 31st through August 3rd. We are currently at Flipcom but this is being recorded ahead of time. I just can't wait. Can't wait to get to meet so many people that I've either watched on YouTube or I've had communications with in through my channel or Facebook. Just can't wait. Can't wait. All right. Before we get started, I don't do this very often, but I'm going to do my commercial. Bear with me a couple of minutes. If you are looking for any of the supplies that we use, we do have an Amazon storefront that you can go in and see some of the products that we recommend and use. Um, while you're in there, if you decide to do your Amazon shopping for other things, I do get a small commission, and I appreciate that. Um, also, Robert started membership, so if you want to support our channel in that way, there is a memberships. Um, we're planning on building on that at a later date. Also, if you sh shop at Walmart or on eBay, I do have links down below. Walmart is under the Mavely app. If you go in there to do your shopping, I do get a small commission. So it's just another way for you to support my channel. It's free to you. I get a small commission. Also, I have my affiliate links for um, Worth Point, List Perfectly, and of course, American Bubble Boy, which I love. Um, so all of that is down in the channel descriptions. Free ways to support me, subscribe to my channel, send me comments. Send me emojis um, and like my videos. It all helps me um, in the uh, in the eBay in the eBay algorithm now in the YouTube algorithm. So just things that you can do and things that we really, really, really appreciate you guys doing for us. So there we go. I didn't have any sales on Poshmark in those four days, but did have two on Mercari. This is a pet toy green dragon squeak sold for $12. And then this mini Heidelberg Schloss cup from Germany. I mean, mini, three inch, sold for $15. One sell on Etsy. This is from that private pick estate sale that we ended up doing. Um, just bought all that amazing plush. This Stuart Little was actually still in his box, but the box had all kinds of issues. I just decided to pull him out and sell him just with the tags that he had on him. Um, sold still on Etsy for $39.95. Now eBay. If you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say something sold for this amount, they also paid additional for shipping. Um, this first one is like, I guess, homeschool curriculum. We picked this up probably at the bins or at a yard sale. They called Anglegs Math Manipulatives for Geometry. Um, I counted them. It was complete. Sold for $17.91. Classic Gund White Cat Plush. Kind of surprised this sold for $22.45. A lot of the guns, the rest, they're mostly my bread and butter, but I do have occasions where they sell for more. Madam Alexander, I bought a huge lot of them at an estate sale. They were asking a $2 per doll, but she ended up giving me all of the dolls. I don't remember exactly how many, but it was like $20 for all of them. Probably a dozen or more. This is one of them. She did not have her box, or she was in the wrong box. I had a couple of extra boxes. I'm wondering if I should try to sell them. I don't know. But she ended up selling for $10. She is a Madame Alexander, Madame Alexander Norway doll. Pretty sure this, um, I got a whole bunch of Webkins um, in the stuff that I bought from Kim. I oh, don't even know how long ago that was. Has it been two years already? Maybe a year and a half? Don't remember. But there ended up being like three of these Chihuahua dogs. Um, this is one sold for $7.15. Now this, they, this buyer bought probably half of this dish set that I had listed. Um, I guess she was thrilled with the condition and everything because she came back and she bought 
all the rest of it. I have not a single piece of this, which is funny because I hadn't sold any pieces until she purchased that. It had been listed over a year and I was really contemplating just pulling it and redonating. I don't normally do that, but dishes take up a whole lot of space. So a funny thing happens when, you know, all of a sudden you're thinking about getting rid of it. But the rest of these, it was cups and saucers, um, dessert bowls, dessert plates, and dinner plates. So it was a huge box. Huge. But it did end up being much cheaper to ship UPS ground. So that's what we did. But the 34 pieces that she bought was $139. This is Dandy Imports. It is a cute Christmas bear sold for $12. It was one of my old listings, so I'm so glad. I, I probably mentioned this before, but since the beginning of June, I have sold over 600 items that were um, marked down originally that were older than this year. Hasbro My Little Pony. I paid $5 for this. Um, carry case, but it was packed with vintage My Little Ponies and their accessories. It ended up being two very hard to find sets that I sold, I, I have listed separately. Um, I'm not sure if I've sold them or not, uh, but this case itself sold for $10. King Cutter Food, I just listed this. Um, we probably paid a couple dollars for it at an estate sale. Sold very quickly for $23.59. It was missing the little pin that holds the guard on it. I listed that in there. Um, but these sell very quickly this time of year. It is garden season. Build-A-Bear, How to Train Your Dragon. I actually, this came on a, I forget the black dragon's name. I forget his name already. <laughs> But I went ahead and pulled it off and sold it separately. I'm not even sure if I listed him because I think he had condition issues. If I, my memory recollects. This um, t-shirt it, by itself sold for $8.96. This is the second time selling this. I just got it back as a return. Turned right around and sold again. Hopefully it won't come back. This is a Lane Bryant women's camo pants. Sold for $15. Oneida Community Louisiana Stainless Steel Knife Set of Four sold for $14. Next is this Russ Bear Plush, but it had a Lufthansa airline sweater on. I'm not sure if it was added, but I just went ahead and listed it this way. It sold for $16.12. Russ Home Buddies. Y'all, I was at a thrift store this week and I found the Tan Rabbit. It probably would have sold for $40 to $50 in this series. They're like terry cloth, little teeny tiny plush, but it was in terrible condition. I just decided to leave it, but definitely keep your eyes out for a lot of these. Um, Russ Home Buddies, this is Tom the Turkey. He sold for $13. Thing is, is though, the day after I shipped this, I got a message asking to cancel, so not sure if it'll end up coming back to me or not. Now this sold the same day I listed it. It is a vintage Sankeo Bear pull string music box. Um, it was in something. What was it? it? It was with a few things that I had picked up. Um, sold same day I listed it for $19.95 and it was an international buyer. More pieces to the Terradrome. These two Rampart panels, I sold two of them for $10 each, so $20 for the order. Fashion Bug. I don't know if we still have them around here or not. I remember those stores. Um, this is a cute dog plush sold for $10. I picked up a dollhouse Mostly for the contents, which is my normal, but I did take off some of the pieces to the dollhouse. This was the blue roof piece. I think I took off some of the windows and doors of it also. This roof piece sold for $17.95.
don't be afraid to take those dollhouses apart. They are a pain to ship. I do have one over here that I'm still considering shipping if we can find the perfect box for it. Ty Pluffies. This one's from 2005. I hadn't seen him before, but ended up not being worth a whole lot. Still my bread and butter. Sold for $8.91. Dakin Raccoon from 1978. He does have the nutshells in him. I tend to put that in there if I notice that it's one of those type plush, just in case somebody has a nut allergy. This sold for $12. I actually noticed that I had some of these Choose Your Own Adventure books over here on a shelf. I've been trying, trying to look at some of my profit pile stuff and pick some stuff that catches my attention, but I knew upstairs we have a large, several bookcases of kids' chapter books from when we were homeschooling. Everybody's pretty much above chapter books at this point. So I went upstairs and I went ahead and pulled them off the shelf also, added them to what I had down here. These sold probably within two or three days of listing. Definitely one of the chapter books to be looking for when you're at yard sales. Um, I actually had, I had a couple of duplicates, so they're still sitting over there. But even that top book was an ex-library book. So, you know, those it, it doesn't matter of the condition a lot of times. Just be honest in your descriptions. You know, I've put on there that the top book is an ex-library, has lots of wear. The next four day, down had lots of wear, and then the rest of them were in just nice used condition. They sold for $35.95. Russ Rutherford the third monkey plush. He's one of the thumb suckers, but it's cute because he can also um, put his fingers in like his ears and his nose. He sold for $11.66. These are Echo men's jeans shorts sold for $14.50. Dandy animated plush. I think I just showed this like in a couple of weeks ago in a haul. It did work. I have video on my listing showing it working. Sold for $20. Yap Women's Jeans. Um, long and Lean. Sold for $14.11. And then these Montana Blues. They look flared to me. We probably should have caught that and put that in the, the um, title. They sold for $10 Best Offer. Play School Ice Cream Truck. It's musical light up. Probably from like the 80s, maybe 90s. Sold for $16.12. This was from the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. When, I know when I saw um, picked it up that it had some discoloration and damage. There were other things in the bag that I wanted. So it, it still was only listed for about a month and sold. It's um, from 1983. She is the Kenner Care Bears Grams Plus. She's missing her shawl and on her back. She had a lot of like sun damage. Still sold for $8.96. These I picked up at a church sale. It was make a donation. This was a craft kit of dolls. Um, a male and female Indian sold for $22.45. Y'all, these carnival style plush will surprise you. This is a just a vintage unicorn. I have sold this a couple of times in different sizes and different colors. I think I have another one that I need to try to get cleaned up and list. But this unicorn, 15 inch, sold for $32.32. .32. Cut from the cloth women's shirt sold for $15 best offer. Walmart Bengal Tiger 9 inch floppy is another good keyword sold for $13.45. I love Walmart. This is Best Made Toys, just a purple owl sold for $8.83. Whole lot of bread and butter, y'all. More of the Monster High dolls. I think I just listed a couple more the other day. Still got a tote full. This is um, Abby Bominable. Sold for $20.66. Dan 
denim women's jeans sold for $14.11. This was also from the red, white, and blue. I bought a bag of vehicles for this particular vehicle. This is Bob the Builder Travis, the tractor from 2001, sold for $15.25. Disney Cogsworth, I think this was picked up at the bins, um, but it was the Talking Beauty and the Beast plush, sold for $12. Love the color, love the color. This is Classic Toy Purple Bear plush, sold for $10. Mattel Sesame Street um, tools, I think they came with like a tool belt, and I may have the tool belt listed separately, but this was a Cookie Monster wrench and a Big Bird pliers, sold for $16.12. Now we're getting into some of the bigger dollar stuff. This is a baby's first teddy bear from TV Trading Company. It sold for $44.95. Not the big sales yet. Adventure Planet. I pick them up. They're just not my favorite brand. Um, but this little gray elephant sold for $13.41. Probably a Ben's pickup, though. All right. This was a surprise to me. I didn't know what it was at first. But I saw a Nintendo tag, so I went ahead and picked it up. It is Luigi's Mansion White Polter Pup plush from 2014 sold for $54. Definitely keep your eyes out for that one. And then this was another surprise. This also is TB Trading Company. The only comps I could find was for a blue doll that had ABC on the front. And I think there was one that was like 60 and another that was $65. I bumped my price up a little bit, but I got a $60 offer and went ahead and grabbed it um, because that's what the other ones were selling for. Um, $60 for a baby plush, but it did have the thermal weave lovey, and that was my key point that I knew that this was going to be something good. And my last sale, these Barbie books, y'all. We picked up a tote of... Um, most, I think all of them were Grolier, those book of the month type books. Three different series. I paid $20 for the tote and all of the books. I've sold two sets of them already. This is the Barbie. It did have the backpack. Um, they sold for $65, but this is what I kept in mind. You cannot lift, list this set as media mail because of the backpack. You just don't want to run the chance that the post office opens it, sees that backpack. It is not media. So I decided to bump my price up a little bit. List it as media mail, but I shipped the backpack first class separately. Two different shipments. The way you can do that easily is once you print your first label, like I did the books first, um, shipped in media mail. They were heavy. And then if you go into your shipping labels, go, you know, scan over to that first column, go down to your shipping labels, find the item you just shipped. If you click on the little drop down, you can do print another label. That's not the same as reprint. Print another label. And it was, I was able to print another label and it attached that tracking also to the order. So I sold it for $65. The media mail rate was $14.42, but I made sure I included enough for first class shipping for the, the book bag. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, my sales have been amazing. That the Thursday of this week that I just shared with you is my best sale day in months, months, a Thursday, just kind of crazy that, you know, the ebbs and flows, but a lot of mine are staying kind of up here, which is very nice. It's time to get to work. Bye.